Alright, what's up y'all? So today I'm gonna show you all how to mod uh, Red Dead Redemption 1 using Magic RDR tool, okay? Well, I had to figure it out myself, by myself, how to do it. So if there's something weird, you know, happening with this process, uh, pardon me, okay? Uh, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna show you how I did it and uh, well without further ado let's jump into it first thing you have to do is open your magic RDR okay this is the program that we're going to use to open the game files okay as you can see this is my base location of RDR1 which is installed here in my PC okay this is the location is exact location for me so you have to figure it out where your game is installed mine is here okay this folder right here it's a base game folder everyone should have this folder in your uh, uh, installation folder okay so you're gonna open it and you're gonna see all of these files here so what exactly are those files well these files are basically uh, uh, a zip file it's like a zip file it's similar because inside those files you will be able to modify other files within it okay there's a bunch of files in this RPF file that we are about to change it so you one does not simply open it with zip or winhar or whatever you know you can't actually do it because this file can be open only by this tool right here okay I have an example here of undead nightmare 2k AI upscale textures okay this is an example and we're just going to extract here okay and boom we have this uh, this is a good thing because the mother already told us where is located the 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 files where we have to to change okay so thank you for the the tip the hint but basically when you go to um, Nexus mod and you open it at uh, whatever mod you want to install well it should have the location exact location to uh, change it okay well I hope so but this one will change here on fragments okay so we're going to drag and drop this fragment here which is located right into this folder okay the game folder we all know that we're about to change this file okay so you're gonna drag and drop here this is like an explorer like an explorer uh, you know that we have on windows this is exactly like an explorer like a, a, a winhar winzip the, the difference is because it's how things work for RPF RPF files, which is probably a, a trademark for Rockstar Studios. You know, they did it. They created these extensions. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do it. Let's open this thing right here. Okay and these are the files that we are going to change it okay so how we do it click here in fragments and there 
there's a bunch of files here. We don't actually know where is it, but basically you're going to drag and drop everything here. So make sure you have this thing right here as a replace button because if you just import the files are going to mix up they, they're gonna overlap the information overwrite overlap they're gonna mix all the things and will crash your game okay and that's not what we want we want to replace it okay so if you do it it's very well follow these steps you are going to get this message as a replace button and then you're gonna click it and then you're gonna click it again and then you're gonna click it and you will click 43 times until it doesn't show up anymore okay but that's how you do it I'm just clicking click again and you're gonna click and you have to be patient to click 43 times which is the number of files here we're replacing okay so let's just do it right now be patient modding takes a lot of patience you know so let's just do it 43 times okay it stopped it, it stopped just it, it, it's just it okay so now what we're going to do is to save this file right here I'm gonna minimize this okay let's be focused on this file right here which is the file file we're modding so we take a look here we open it this file we drag and drop the files right here we replace it and now we're going to save it and you're going to click here the current the current file we're actually modding it it's going to pop up this window and you're gonna click yes so rebuilding you saw that rebuilding rebuilding it's the same thing of saving save will rebuild this fragments RPF file and automatically will replace this for this file right here as you click on save so that's the thing another thing if you're using another mod that you don't know exactly where it is but you have the name of the of the file So let's see here. Let's pretend uh, we don't know exactly where it is right here and you click here and just don't know where it is. That's your, what you're gonna do. Look, we're gonna take this file right here. We're gonna take the name of it, copy. Let's go here and search files, click and then you're gonna find it just the the file by itself okay this is going to work for every other mod that you don't actually know where it is located here but you know where uh, but you ha you know where the the, the, the rpf file you no know? the the mother should tell you where are located but let's pretend that you don't know it should just found it right here if you uh, drag and drop here look at that luckily it will appear replace but if if don't appear replace that's what you're gonna do you're gonna click the right click and you're gonna click replace here replace file then you're gonna get right here 
on these three dots and then you're gonna search you're gonna search it your file okay which for me is right here fragments and bat zombie okay if replace button doesn't show up for you if if it shows up only import that's wrong and then don't click import whatsoever don't don't click import just replace it everything you're gonna do here it's replacing it okay so that's the bat zombie I'm gonna click here in the bat zombie I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna click replace so that's it it's replace it what you're gonna do now you're gonna save it current yes rebuilding that's what it does replace uh, save it it's like rebuilding you're gonna replace you're gonna save it that's how you rebuild your file your RPF file all right just let's just wait a little bit to the PC finish it okay close it go into your game open it and let's just wait alright and that's it it's working you see So that's it. That's basically it. As you can see, I got some other mods here working. Wow, this flare is a little over exaggerated, but it's fine. Uh, and that's it. Alright. So let's just close it. So that's basically it. Everything you need to know is that all the files within the RPF folder, which is a file, which is an extension, it's called lose files. The lose files are these files within the RPF file. Okay? How you open it? You open it with RDR magic. In this case right here, I'm opening it with Explorer because the mother did it to me. Because he's a good mother. But not everyone will do that, okay? If you, uh, you know, just have the, the, the double TD file, you will have to find it by yourself. Where is it? And you're gonna search for it on magic RDR you know but probably will be located on this game folder within one of these files here okay you'll have to search it by yourself manually you know the map res here J let's just drag and drop here okay map res this is a lot of things here. Maybe there's a mod that changes uh, a gap cliff 30 medlot point WTD. You know, you have you, you only have that file. You don't know where to to to, to change it to mod it. Well, you have to open each each RPI file. You have to take the name, copy the name click search here and you will find it whatever you need to find it okay then you're gonna click file 
and save it. But before that, you, you need to make sure that you're replacing, replacing, don't import, replace it. Then you save it as current and that's it, okay? As you can see, English is not my native language and all that stuff. Sorry about anything and that's it. Bye-bye.